of the Imitation of Christ by Thomas Akempis. Final Thoughts Our Final of the Imitation of Christ video We have completed the entire work of the Imitation of Christ by Thomas Akempis. We have read and listened to all four books. Book 1, Admonitions Useful for the Spiritual Life. Book 2, Admonitions Leading to the Spiritual Life. Book 3, Of Interior Consolation. And Book 4, A Devout Exhortation to Holy Communion. Having finished all of the Imitation of Christ, we are left with several thoughts to take home with us from this work. What we have read and heard is not something to set aside and forget, but to instead try to live in our lives. A. The teaching of Christ surpasses teachings of all the saints, and to fully appreciate his teachings, we must be willing to conform our lives to Christ. B. Everything is vanity except for loving God and serving him alone. C. This world is only temporary. We must look and live for the world to come. D. Our thirst for knowledge should be directed at loving and serving God, not for things of this world. E. We are responsible for whatever gifts we have from God so we must use them wisely. F. We should think always well and highly of others, while keeping a low opinion of ourselves. G. We should seek the company of God more than that of men. H. Do not merely acknowledge your sins, but truly repent them. I. Be willing to suffer for God. J. We all die and must face judgment. We had better prepare ourselves for that moment. K. Our need is to seek Jesus. L. There is no hope nor health except in the cross. M. Bearing tribulation for the love of Christ will test us and build us merit if we use it to submit to God's will. N. It is necessary to place our peace and trust in God, not in man. O. God requires our contrition and our humbling ourselves for our sins. P. Mingling with earthly matters interferes with our receiving the impouring of God's graces. Q. We ought to deny ourselves and imitate Christ by embracing his cross. R. Our hope and confidence is to be placed in God alone. S. Receiving Holy Communion should be done with reverence and only after great preparation. T. The enemy strives to convince you 
by any reason to avoid receiving Holy Communion. You, the mind, hands, and eyes of the priest, should be pure to administer communion. V. We should all desire to receive Holy Communion with the greatest fervor and devotion. W. Instead of trying to analyze and study faith and the sacrament, it is more profitable to humbly accept them. X. God does incomprehensible and miraculous things, which would not seem such if our human reason could understand them. Do not consider this the end of your learning from the imitation of Christ. Now you can read through it again and again and continue profiting from the wisdom of this work. And with that thought, we conclude this video series on Of the Imitation of Christ.